Hi. I hope you're well today. We've been doing some light and easy sessions and hopefully that's given you a good sense of how to be light in the way that you're stretching, the way that you're moving and in the way that you're breathing. We want to bring that understanding to a stronger physical session. The key with Raja Yoga is to understand energy and also understand how not to waste it. That's why if you're pushing too hard in a pose, if you've gone too far, you'll now be wasting energy. And this transfers in life, not to waste. There's so much waste. It'd be good if we can be aware of that and maybe make different choices. The same here in your yoga practice. Be aware of how you waste energy and make a different choice. First of all, close your eyes, let's check in. Have a big breath in and a deep sigh. Check right now your mental energy. And your physical energy. And then pay close attention to your resting breath hopefully you just did the previous session on breathing that's a very important series I'll be running and here as we understand the resting breath we see that it describes exactly how we are feeling emotionally psychologically And then however we are, we just want to relax into and around that. As a feeling with your mind and with your body relaxing into and around the breath. Remember, this is what the stretching is for, to open up that which is tight, to create space from within. Again, have a big breath in, hold it for three, two, one, and then release. Open your eyes, come back to the scene that you're in. Feel your body in the space. Feel the space. Relax the way your mind is gripping onto all of this. And now let's move lightly, gently move to stand up. Just standing anywhere on the mat, it doesn't really matter. But most important is that the feet are hip width and straight. Not a little bit turned out, straight. So usually your second toe is a good guide for that. Heel to second toe gives you a good line. Now I'll show you this movement, it's quite simple, it's only two positions, but then we want to do it much more slowly. So I'll just show you fairly briefly, 
you bring the arms up and back and then you extend forwards away and down. Watch how I come up, chin up, arms extended, legs are straight, fingertips away, 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 up and back, and then you'll come forwards again. So it's just up and back, forwards and down. So if you want, you can start doing it with me, but we'll do it slowly. So, fingertips extending away, all the way up and back, Try to keep your knees straight the whole time. Now hold it here. Have a deep breath. Remember, we're just starting out, so do not push. Breathe in before you move, and then breathe out as you come upwards, leaning away with your fingertips, away from your tailbone. Knees are straight. Come all the way down and just hang. Have another sigh. So it doesn't matter if you are not touching the ground or your feet. You could be here, it doesn't matter. But don't bend the knees. And then when we come up, it's important to invert the spine. So don't come up like this. And we want to try to Use your fingertips to lead. So, think of your spine, head up, neck, chin. Take the arms out in front of you as far away as you can. Knees are straight. Extending away, 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 all the way up and back. A deep breath. So, at each point you have a sigh. Then you breathe in before you move and breathe out as you slowly move. Nice and light and comfortable. Let the head hang. Breathe in before you move and then chin up, chest up, arms out and away, leading away, 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 up and back. Let's settle into a nice rhythm now. Take it easy. Keep it gentle. Don't waste energy. Flowing. Looking up and back at the hands. You've really got to create that feeling at each end that you are resting at that point. That's why the quality of the sigh will tell you. If you can touch the floor, you can start by getting the hands flat, or you can then take the hands behind you, oh sorry, to the side, pointing backwards, and try to get the palms down there. But you've got to keep the knees straight. You can stay longer if you like at each end.
so good for the back. Always breathing out as you are moving. <sighs> the body should be starting to open up. Next time you come down, stay down and just hang in a relaxed way. down like this, we want to get the hips down and the chest up. <sighs> Relax into the pose. Good for the lower back. So we now are going to add this to the sequence. When you are down, you've been up and then you come back down and then you go into this pose. And then you can join me now. You straighten again. Take the arms away. Chest up. And back. The same pace. We're just adding a third pose. Make sure you do the fullness of this pose. Or you bend the knees, chest up. Straightening, and then head up, arms away.
Next time you are down, stay down. When you get there, bend the knees again, chest up. Let's just rest in this pose for a little bit. Try to keep the hips down a bit. Spread your toes out. Lean onto them a little bit. breathing to release pressure. And then straightening again, falling, last time, head hanging, have a nice deep breath. Forward and chin up, take the arms out and away, coming all the way up and then just release the arms out to the sides. And relax, close your eyes. And rest. Have a good sigh. So that put a lot of pressure on the hamstrings and the lower back. Let's just break, break that up a little bit. Just really simple, lifting your heels up. Come right up high on the toes. Lift the heel up, just nice and easy. And maybe Jogging with your hands opposite to the leg. You can have a breath out. But mostly you want to feel the massaging, the loosening, the breaking up of these tight areas. Lift the heels up high.
Stay relaxed. Have a deep breath. Keep checking your energy levels. Are you fatiguing or are you becoming reinvigorated? Opening, becoming clear and light. That's a really good one for the back. Make sure again that the feet are straight and hip width. Left hand on the right shoulder, right arm around the back on the left hip. Breathe in before you move and breathe out as you turn right. And just hold it there. And your head, your eyes are at eye level. Don't look down. And try to get the idea of your spine being very straight and then you're spinning on a straight spine. Open out the chest and shoulders. Relax into the pose. One thing to check now is your balance over both feet, heels and toes. Just make sure that you're not leaning onto one leg too much. Have a deep sigh. Breathe in before you move and breathe out as you smoothly come back and drop the arms. Close your eyes and just feel if there's a one-sidedness in the muscles of the back. Then, right hand on the left shoulder, left arm around the back on the right hip. Spine nice and straight. Breathe in before you move 
breathe out as you slowly turn left. Keep your eyes at eye level. Open out the shoulders, the chest. Lengthen the spine and then relax into the pose. Also check your balance over the both feet. Have a deep sigh. And breathe in before you move. And breathe out as you gently ease back and release the arms. Close your eyes. Have another sigh. Next one. So we've been turning the spine. Now we want to lengthen it. Have the feet together. You won't be able to see my arms here, but they're just in a prayer pose, a flat clap. So bring the arms up. Try to have your biceps touching your ears. That means that the elbows are as straight as possible. Spread your toes out and then come up onto the toes. Coming up and heels together for balance. Take the hips back slightly. Don't lean your hips this way. Take them back. So you feel like you're slightly leaning forwards and up. Fingertips away from your tailbone. If you need to take a break with the toes, just come down with the heels. You can lock the quadriceps here. That will stabilize the pose. 
Now there's an extra part you can do here, a bunda, the root lock. What you do is you squeeze the base of the pelvis. For women it's like the pelvic floor. For men it's the perineum, the perineal gland. Just squeeze and lock between the legs and hold that squeeze and that also should stabilize the pose. We want the arms to be as straight as possible. Press the hands together flat. Press the fingers together. Breathe. Keep the hips back slightly, chest forwards and up. Twenty seconds. This is a chance to really open up the pose if you've got energy. Breathe in before you move. Breathe out as the arms come out and the heels come down. Well done. Relax. Many different ways to breathe, which I will be teaching in the breathing series of the meditation path. I recommend that you check that out if you haven't. It's a strong pose and so my body is heating up and so I'm exhaling through an open mouth to cool the body and settle it. Okay, this is a great one, the chair. I'll stay side on just so you can see the shape of it. Feet are hip width again and straight and that's always important. Have the arms up, shoulder height, your wrist is shoulder height and then bend the knees. Now see I've started leaning forwards, I don't want to do that, I want to have my spine pretty vertical and just draw the tailbone down. Spread the toes out, press down evenly with the feet. Try to relax your lower back, this is good for the lower back. Keep the chest up. So if you feel you can bend your knees a little bit more, it's up to you. But try to not lean forward. Anytime you need a break, a break, you could just drop your arms slowly. It's 
So now we're going to move into the dynamic chair. And if you can, I'd like you to stay with me. But you may not be able to, just come up. If you can, keep your wrists at shoulder height the whole time. We're going to start going lower and lower. And we will start leaning forwards. So start now. Coming down, keep your wrists at shoulder height. Starting to come down and then pause. Keep the chest up. And you must keep the feet flat on the ground the whole time. Really use your breathing here. Now coming down a little bit more. Keep the wrists at shoulder height. toes a little bit. Now we go up just a little bit and then hold. chest up, hands at shoulder height. And then breathe in and breathe out as you come all the way up and drop the arms. Feel the impact. Have a deep sigh. Well done. Let's lie down and have a little rest.
Have a deep sigh. Let's do a little bit of abdominal work. Have the feet together, hands in a prayer pose over your chest. Lift the head and chest up. And just hold here in a relaxed way. And then raise one leg. In fact, you can take it fairly high. Have the foot extended, the toes. Even if the muscles are shaking, doesn't matter, just relax. slowly bring that leg down, have a breath, and then bring the other leg up, toes extended. If you'd like, you can take the hands back behind the head, that'll support the neck more. Slowly bring the leg down, have a sigh, release the hands, place the head down gently. That's good upper abdominal work. Bring the head up again, hands behind the head, fingers interclasped. You can take the elbows wide actually, is a good one. Bring the right knee up. Raise the left heel and bring your left elbow towards the right knee. You're definitely up off the floor. Use your breathing. Left heel down, right leg down, head down, release. Head up, hands back, right leg off the floor, left knee up, 
right elbow towards the left knee. back to middle, right leg down, left leg away, release the arms and head, <sighs> relax. And then one more, head up, bring the legs and you can bring your arms underneath, chest towards the knees, you could rest your head on the knees, but if you can, straightening the legs, holding as high as possible. If your legs are bent, just have your hands lower. Now it's possible to have your hand like a two-fingered gun into the big toes. Breathe in and breathe out as you slowly come down, lie flat, relax. And then one more effort, the easy bridge. Walk the feet in. This will open up these muscles. So feet in hip width, hands flat, press down. Lift your hips up, your tummy up, your rib cage off the floor. Press your feet down. But now if you can, we want to bring the fingers intertwined underneath. The wrists are on the floor, your elbows are straight. And then you can lift up onto your shoulders even more. Keep raising the belly button. Press down with your toes and feet, thighs lifting. Don't slouch in this pose, but don't push. Find the nice, comfortable point in between where you are not wasting energy.
breathe in and slowly release. Lie flat, have a sigh. Feel the release. Have a good sigh. And then lift your head up, left knee up, Turn over onto the right side and push forwards and up. Sit comfortably cross-legged. Have a sigh. Just check how you're feeling. Do you feel tired? If you do, you must lie down at the end of this session and have a little rest. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe drift off, have a little snooze. Proper recovery. You don't want to rush off into a whole lot of activities now, otherwise you'll be exhausted later. The whole point of being self-aware is to recognize where your limits are, where your capacity is at. We're not sporty. We're not doing mind over matter. That has nothing to do with yoga or health, mental health. We are connecting, listening to the body, recognizing our mental state, especially when we're tired. Have a deep sigh. Focus on your resting breath. It could be through the nose or through the mouth, however you like. A resting breath means you are completely restful and you're not trying to do anything with the breath. You're just relaxing into the feeling of the natural rhythm of your body's resting rate. We want to be able to feel 
the opening that we've created. This is what we're looking at in the breathing sessions and meditation path. When we do the stretching, we are literally opening up the body. We are untightening it because it's so tightly bound because our minds are so tight and we tighten around the breath and it affects something as simple as the resting breath. But now we've been opening for an hour. Your body is more relaxed and open and clear. It has more space. And you should notice this in your resting breath. It might only be a few degrees, a few percent more open. And it depends on your subtle awareness, insight. Sitting with your resting breath as the meditator, relaxing your mind, resting your body. It's a beautiful practice. a sigh. Thank you. I hope you're feeling good now. Strong. And yet relaxed. Please. If you like these sessions, click like each time. Thank you. Take care.